Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie and this is episode 122 of my Direwolf 20 1.18 Let's Play. And yes, today we're back in the Coliseum. Um, I want to get this done. I want to I want to be able to get to the later game content of Ars Nouveau and uh Britannia and you know whatever else I need this arena for so it's gonna be cool <laughs> I can't wait um I I hooked up check this out um I hooked up the bell of thorns to my screen system in my control room so I can turn them off and on uh i I don't think they use mana unless they're actively damaging things. Could be wrong about this. Uh, but it doesn't appear like the Fallen Canod uh, uses mana unless it's actively healing somebody. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm just trying to clean this up. I made some shields templates and I made the shield projector tier 4 which I already had programmed into the system. I can also get rid of those guys. Yeah. Uh, so I was just cleaning up the dirt after uh, I got the border around. Uh. Yes, I, I don't have to push shift on these. Oh, lag. <laughs> I, I've learned to not continue um, spamming the mine button if it doesn't work the first time because uh, I just get these little hiccups uh, where it just doesn't, uh, it takes it a second to, to go and do the things. So. There we go. <laughs> I got the outline. I got the center mark. What I wanted to do was to sort of, I uh, don't know if it's possible to make these look like different blocks or if they all have to be the same. I haven't really, uh, I don't really know how they change how the blocks look. If that's something in the shield projector or if something you do just to the block itself like can i can i click a block on that no what if i shift click oh um what if i click on it with the empty hand what if i shift click it on it <laughs> no <laughs> okay um so i guess we're gonna have to place this thing down um see I got a hole over here Boop. um now it's supposed to be connected to each different type of shield template like since I'm gonna have two I have to have it connected to two different things and the the blue one is mainly gonna be on top so I got these little things in the corner where I can pull this down and then uh, like maybe this way and then run towards the middle. Um, what's going to suck is that in order to get to the middle, I have to go here into the uh, into the very heart of everything. Uh, so I could kind of do something like this and just run it underneath um, so that everything can be connected together. At least that's just what I have in my head. I don't know <laughs> how this all works. Uh, so that could be from that side and then do the same thing on this side. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll have to 
place all these blocks. Um, I'll do that like off camera. And this looks like a good clear path over here as well. Uh, see, and we could just like connect those and then, um, yeah, put, put it like right there, like that. Um, and we need power to, I guess, a uh, point. Compose, active, no. Oh, dude, I could also, um, activate this from, oh, we need shields. Do I need to add stuff to this? There's some looting. Um, all right, let's do, uh, what is this builder? Um, I don't know if everything I need will be in here. A vehicle card, a vehicle. Oh, that's cool. Um, let's see, space chamber. Okay, so I think the stuff that I need is just going to be an artifact, maybe. Oh, I like this tablet too. That sounds pretty cool. Oh, that would be pretty cool. Let's see. I don't know. What is this? Shield, rain, shield. What does rain do? Okay, shield, mimic, use the texture from the supplied block. Yeah, I wonder if, uh, for the shield, um, generic damage type, add selected filter, entity that matches this filter can pass through. See, here's the thing. I want two different types. So add selected filter. Um, okay. Whoa. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, delete. Okay, so. Matches everything. Matches passive mobs. Matches hostile mobs. Solid. Entities that match this filter cannot pass. So I definitely don't want hostile mobs to pass through it. There we go. And now I can delete that one. <laughs> um, and... matches players can pass through. Does that sound good? Um, actually, I would need two colors for that. I thought I would need, actually, yeah, I thought I would need uh, two different colors because I thought uh, one could be solid and then one could allow players to pass through but this sounds like I could use one uh, and just put the filter on it. I don't know though is that something I have to do there um, okay. 
Oh, oh, so if I say put that in there, like that, it's a mimic. Would it turn all of the things to... I should have brushed up on my shielding watching Darwolf's video. Um, or at least a video. Um, I think that's a uh, shield, right? Shield, mimic. Um, see, this is what uh, I might just need two different projectors. Um, one for the floor to be solid and uh, to not let anything pass through. <laughs> Uh, and then the walls, which will be transparent, but will be solid for mobs, but will let me pass through. Uh, so, yeah, I think I'm going to have to do two now that I see how this works. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, though. Um, what did I just break? Oh, I think I got two, two um, blocks broke on that one. Okay, so this kind of changes things. Um, so I shouldn't need the stuff on the bottom for the blue. I could just like put it on a corner. Um, like over here or something, and then they'll all be connected from above. So that's cool. All right, so let's do this. Um, we will make them stone bricks, uh, solid shield texture, and we don't want anybody to pass through. So let's delete both of these. Uh, like all, everything to everything, it is solid. Add it. I don't know what damage is done by a player. I think that causes, uh, Damage. I don't really care about the damage, I guess. Um, so, I don't know what's this, uh, this is needed. Is that some type of field? Do that shield. That's all I get on the shield. That is dimensions. Ooh. Um, I need that. Um, there we go. That could explain everything. One way to learn is to read about stuff. <laughs> RF tools base. Uh, yeah. Uh, machines. Ooh, uh, what about shields? Okay. Um, tools. Um, a 
unravel it. That just sounds like a lot of fun. I, I think I want to. Yeah, this is very basic and it doesn't cover the shields. Dang it. Tools, utility. Um, I think it's builder. Hang on. <laughs> Um, let me see. This is just the, uh, the GitHub page, I think. Uh, so I don't really see... Yeah. It is Builder. Okay, so, dang it. Uh, I'm not going to find what I need in here, unfortunately. So, uh, I have to keep drawing or keep looking what are these saturation modules uh-huh what the heck is all this stuff is this um this module gives speed bonus when used in the environmental controller Uh, it looks like you can add feather falling. Um, flight, haste, regeneration, saturation, slowness. Ah, that looks pretty cool. Uh, oh, that's pretty neat. Uh, I wonder what that's like. That might be even an option other than Botania to get regeneration and uh, paste and stuff like that. All right, um, let's see. Is this like on? <laughs> I can't. So what I'm going to have to do is uh, get these over here. I thought I was going to need two colors. Um, it looks like I'm going to need two shields. set them up properly so uh the good news is check this out i can just boom request a couple hundred of those because um look at this whoa twenty five thousand wool and uh my little drone buddy still has like 60 something uh, shears left so I think he's doing all right I think he's doing all right uh -oh. oops I don't want that that I hate it that they move um I kind of want to get the outline of this So I know, like, what I'm doing, I guess. Um, bring it 
all the way. Because uh, when when I have this on, I don't want to be able to see all the blue blocks. Uh, I want to be able to pass through it, uh, but definitely to keep the mobs inside. So <laughs> I guess this will be a good experience. Uh, the only thing bad is that um, I may not like those tier 4 uh, shield projectors are pretty pricey. I'm sorry if you can hear a lawnmower that is right outside my apartment. Uh, so, yeah. I want to try to get the outline at least. I got the, the flooring, but since um, that was pretty easy because it's only a rectangle, but this one is a cube, so it'll take a little bit longer. Actually, I could probably get my exchanging gadget out and, and now replace it. <laughs> So I don't have to break the block and replace it. Um, um, oops. <laughs> no, 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 no. See, this is why I keep it down. It's very, uh, Swanky. Where it switches things out. I should probably sleep. I hear the Mancha Tonchas coming to get me. Uh oh. Juice already? There we go. Excellent. Be gone. I guess I better sleep. I better sleep. All right, let's figure this out. Um, Like, I don't, um, I'm missing something. Uh, because, uh, dude. It's not solid and it's not taking stone bricks. I feel like there's a card here. Radiation shielding upgrade? No. There's just so many, uh, leak with the space chamber. Crafting card, filter module. Okay, that's not what I need. Space chamber. Maybe I need a shape card. And tell it the dimensions. Uh, that's what you have to do in the builder. And this is sort of a builder. It's building a shield. So, uh, we need let me try getting a shape card. Oh, I don't have any bricks. Um, I know I have 
bricks over there. Don't I? Ugh! Bricks. Um, clay? A brick. Okay. Um. I don't know if this is going to work. We'll try it. Nope. I want to see him. <laughs> Boom. All right. So shape card, maybe. Hey, it fits. Ah, this card represents an area that can be used by the shield or builder. Sneak right click on builder to start mark mode, then right click to mark two corners of the area. Oh, cool. So um what did it say uh sneak right click on builder to start mark mode okay sneak right click can only do this on a builder oh no okay So how do I do it then? Okay, give me a second. Okay, it says on the wiki that if I right click Aha, it uh, restarts the projector, allowing it to, I, I thought I wanted it to look like bricks. Um, so it's color for the shield. I thought it would just mimic the bricks. Uh, solid shield texture. There we go. There we go. Now it looks like bricks, but I don't want it to look like bricks. Uh, I do, but I want to know that it is, uh, let's see, let's use purple. <laughs> I want to know uh, that it's, it's a shield. Mm, I don't that's kind of very, very loud. What if we do like light blue? Is that better? I think that's better. It's not like too bright, like I can't look at it, but it's, yeah. That's nice. Uh, so all I have to do with that, and this is solid, Boink, boink. So let's get another shield projector. I think I have enough of everything to make one. Yeah, I have the nether stars and the dimensional shards. That was the only thing I was low on. wonder how my obsidian is doing. Uh, yeah, I need to work... I remember I started this project a long time ago because I was like, I need to get more obsidian because there are lots of things I need obsidian for, uh, for mechanisms, and I don't have a lot. So I was going to try and do the old infinite lava source in the nether like Direwolf did so that I could have just infinite lava and not have to go back into the nether moving my pump every so often. 
Uh, so I meant to do that, but I didn't. Alright, so let's get our other shield projector. Alright, and... Uh, we just need to touch one of these guys. And I will disconnect all of those other ones because it should connect up. Right? 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 Um, I, I'm just going to have to bite the bullet and and just completely dismantle my, uh, my dire factory. <laughs> because... Um, I'm, I'm still dependent on it for some things, um, so I don't know. Okay, so this one is different. Um, entities that pass this can, or that match this filter can pass through. I only want that for players. And I want it to be solid for hostile mobs. Yes. And uh, I definitely want this to be transparent. Oh, or invisible. Now I think I want, let's try the transparent and if it's, uh, if it's bad, then um, I'll change it. Need the shape card either. So let's do that. Oh, look at that! So it did uh, turn those, and and it's nighttime again. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. Woo! Did you see me pass through that? Woo! <laughs> um, I'm okay with that. I mean, I could even change the color a little bit. Um, so that it's not black. Maybe make, make it the light blue. Transparent color. So... Oh yeah, it, it kind of looks like mana glass, um, and and not <laughs> uh, I'm not uh, disappointed with that. <laughs> I like mana glass, uh, so that looks pretty cool. Uh, and once I connect. Uh, all this stuff together, those on the outside will appear solid. Uh, my only my only complaint is that I can't change what the color of individual blocks look like uh, because I wanted to mark the center uh, and kind of mark where the fallen canadas are because they have a pretty small radius, like it's only two blocks away. One more and it's gone. So it's very important to be on that. And if I don't know where it's at, I don't know where to go. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, that's going to be an issue. What I, I guess I could, I could place like obsidian over the top of the fallen canots um, to kind of mark them. That way, I mean, it's explosive resistant. <laughs> or I could put, um, what is that? Uh, The tinted glass, I guess. I probably, yeah, I have some of that. So I could just put the tinted glass over the top. Hopefully it won't get blowed up and that will kind of mark 
where those are. The Bellathorns are okay because they have a huge, huge area. Um, I don't know if you can... You can't really see it from here. Let me, <laughs> let me go down. down, down, down. Look at this. Uh, you can't even see it. It's so big that it's huge area. And I'm pretty sure it's it overlaps with the other one, so I'm not 100% certain. I think that covers all the area that I want it to. Uh, so that is super cool and awesome. So I'm going to be doing this, uh, finishing up, making all the templates, um, getting this going. What did you... Oh, I can't destroy a shield block if it's on. Uh, that's the wrong corner. Uh, so... I'm going to get this, uh, let's say, on to activate. Awesome. Okay, so now I should be able to interact with them again. Nice. Wait a minute. Did the blocks just disappear? All of them? How am I supposed to do the thing? Okay, I might just need to... Uh... I'm sorry. Actually, I need that one. I need that one. It's the rest of these that I don't need. Okay. Since all of this is connected. There we go. Oh, yeah. It's going to be so cool. I'm hoping that uh, I can get this shield up and running. And then tomorrow, maybe, I'll be able to... Uh... Do I need to push shift to? No, I don't. Okay, that's even better. <laughs> uh, maybe tomorrow I'll be able to do some battles, which will be awesome. Because uh, I've been wanting to have ours for a long, long time. I really would like those tier 3 spells. <laughs> they would make a huge difference and I don't know. Uh, I just want, I want all the things. So now we can put our shield projector back and I wonder Am I going to have to set all this up? Oh, hey, it remembered everything. And I don't want it to look like a block. So that's awesome. All right. <laughs> well, we got the basic of it set up. All I need to do now is just place all the blocks <laughs> that go in the middle of these things. And, and it's, it's functional. It does what, what I want it to do. Um, I I have the Fallen Canadas kind of marked out. Hopefully that's, that's safe enough. <laughs> Just for that one spot. Um, I don't plan on doing Withers over here. Um, so I, I think it'll be okay. Awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here because I have a lot of blocks to place. <laughs> a lot. Uh, so thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.